Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Get Your Hands Dirty. And in this video, we're going to put together a little something with everything we've learned so far about PHP arrays. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files, we are in 09 Get Your Hands Dirty. Let's have a look at the browser to see what we're building. We have three chunks of text here in the sandbox, and each of them has something about a person from some country and some info about their mustache. Each of the bold pieces of text we're using PHP arrays to generate. So let's jump right in. Go to your code editor. In 09, get your hands dirty. Open index and practice. Practice is where you're going to be building your version of this little site. And index is the final version of it and also reference if you want to use that. So let's start by doing a little cleanup. We need to define our constant, and that would be title, and this one will be arrays. It's called arrays because here in the title tag, we already have get your hands dirty. We need to replace title with the, uh, t sorry, we need to replace title with the title constant, if that makes sense. So let's echo the title. Perfect. I'm going to copy that and paste it one more time down here in between the small tags. Good to go. Variables, we only have one simple one, and that will be my name. I'm gonna add my name there, and we're gonna use that down here in your name, but first let's replace year with PHP year. Remember to echo date year, and replace the your name HTML comment literally with the my name variable. Great, we should be good to go. So let's jump right in and start building our arrays. First, we're going to start with our basic array. Age group. Remember, this is the basic skeleton of an array. And we have some items in here. This one is child, comma, separate each of them, teenager. And the last one will be adult. Great. So there is our basic PHP array. The next set of arrays will be the associative arrays. So let's start by doing our trusty handlebar mustache. Clean this up a little bit. And in here, we're going to use the key name. And the name is handlebar. And then color. Color of this one will be black. I'm going to copy this and paste it because I don't want to have to write it again unless you really want to. It'd be good for muscle memory. Get your fingers used to writing arrays. It's good to do that. Fu Manchu is the next one. And the name will be Fu Manchu. And the color will make it brown. And let's add another. And this one will be the Salvador Dali. And the name, obviously, is Salvador Dali. And the color will be blonde. Perfect. Next set of arrays, or the next array, will be multidimensional arrays. So let's add our gentleman variable array. Nice and simple. Here's where we start getting a little messy. In here, we need to add three different arrays. Comma separate the arrays. The last one does not need a co uh, comma. Okay, first name. This is where we're going to be adding our gentleman. So the first name will be Carter. And his country will be my home country of Canada. Array, the second one, we're going to add another gentleman. And that will be... Rodrigo from a country I have not been to yet, but I would love to go. Uruguay. Shout out to all you people from Uruguay. Or as us Canadians say, Uruguay. All right, first name. This guy is Giovanni from, you guessed it, Italy. All right, cool. So there is our multidimensional uh, array. This is our... Associative array, and the basic PHP array. Now let's put those into use. Down here, 
in the sandbox is where we're going to be adding each of the gentlemen in the H3 tags and the description about them. So we're starting off with the first one. And that will look like Carter from Canada. Carter is quite the adult. He sports a solid handlebar mustache that is black in color. So let's add that one. All right, in the H3 tag, we need to echo our um, Carter. We need to echo Carter's name from our multidimensional array. So this is how we do that. Let's reference our gentleman variable. We need to reference the number, the index of the array within the multidimensional array. So the first one has an index of zero. So that will be zero. Now that we're referencing Carter's array, we need to get his first name. There's Carter. All right. So that should say Carter. Let's check it out. Carter, perfect. We're not done yet though. Carter from, we need to get his country. So echo, gentleman, happens to be zero still, and country. Nice and simple. So Carter from Canada. Now we're in the paragraph tag. Let's echo his name. We've already done it up here, so I don't want to rewrite this out again. Carter is quite the PHP echo. Here, is, uh, here are the age groups. So we're going to choose one of these age groups. He's an adult. So we need to echo age group. And uh, we're referencing the last one, which is the third in, which has the index of two, zero, one, two. All right, so that would be two. Carter is quite the adult, exclamation point. He sports a solid, and he has a handlebar, so PHP echo. And let's reference handlebar, that would be name. Perfect. Handlebar, name. That should be good. Uh, check it out, see what it looks like so far. Carter is quite the adult. He sports a solid handlebar. So let's write mustache after that. That is, what color is it? PHP Echo, handlebar, and the color we want. There we go in color. So try and wrap your head around this. It looks a little messy, but that's okay. It's good for practice. Let's save it and check it out. Carter is quite the adult. He sports a solid handlebar mustache that is black in color. Perfect. So what's great about this next, these next two is just we have to copy and paste and just replace the PHP um, arrays and the indexes and the references. So quite simple. Copy paste. So the next one, we're going to go gentleman one, first name, from gentleman one, country. And then gentleman one, first name is quite the teenager. Where is the teenager? That is zero one. So that will be index of one for age group. And he sports Fu Manchu. So this, we'll have to change this to Fu Manchu, name that's good. That is what color? This would be Fu Manchu again, color. So let's check that out. Rodrigo from Uruguay is quite the teenager. He sports a solid Fu Manchu mustache that is brown in color. So great, it's, uh, it's perfect. But the only thing different is I actually have different text here. As, as a rather dapper teenager, he proudly wears that is colored in a gentle. So let's, let's fix that. So Rodrigo is, is, what is it? Is a rather dapper teenager. He proudly wears a Fu Manchu mustache that is colored a gentle, and let's remove in color at the end. So let's have a little look at that. Rodrigo is a rather dapper teenager. He proudly wears a Fu Manchu mustache that is colored a gentle brown. That's beautiful. All right, next one. We have Giovanni from Italy. Let's copy and paste again. 
and replace what we need to replace. Gentleman two. Gentleman two. So first name and country. Gentleman two first name is a rather dapper. Giovanni is a child. So that would be zero. A rather dapper age group zero. There we go. Proudly wears a. This guy has a Salvador Dali. And we're going to change what the text says. So let's see. Giovanni might seem too young for a stash because he is a child, but he proudly displays his Salvador Dali mustache at school, although it's a little hard to see because it's light brown. Let's check it out. Let's see what, what that turned into. Giovanni might seem too young for a stash because he is a child, but he proudly displays his Salvador Dali mustache at school, although it's a little hard to see because it's light blonde. Perfect. All right. So here's a little review. At the top here, we did our constants and variables. But the meat of this lecture was the arrays, our basic array, our associative arrays, and our multidimensional array. And we put them into practical use down here in our sandbox where we talked about three diverse gentlemen with very different mustaches in very different age groups. So if that was a little fast, no problem. It's a good thing you're watching a video. Just rewind if that's what it's called nowadays, back to the part where we started coding our PHP. Follow along, copy and paste, do it over and over again until you have a good idea of how this works because trust me, it's going to be really useful throughout the rest of the lecture and throughout the rest of your coding career. So hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you in the next lecture.